Laguna Beach is a small, oceanside community in Southern California. It was settled in the 1870s and officially founded in 1887. In prehistoric times, it was the site of a Paleo-Indian culture. The coastline includes nearly six miles of marine preserve, and it's a great place for walking on the beach or swimming in the ocean. Laguna attracts artists and has an art colony and many, many art galleries. On the first Thursday evening of every month, many of the galleries open up for the Laguna Art Walk. Art lovers roam from gallery to gallery, and often hors d'oeuvres and wine are served within the galleries. Today, Laguna Beach is filled with furniture stores, kitschy little stores, and art galleries, and it's a great place for a romantic weekend or honeymoon. The window shopping there is about as good as you're going to get in Southern California. Lovers spend their days walking on the beach, shopping for arts, crafts, and treasures, dining at some amazing restaurants, or just staying in their hotels and watching the ocean from its windows. Laguna is probably the most romantic town in Orange County. In the 1960s and 70s, Laguna Beach attracted Bohemians, and it was a center of hippie culture. Timothy Leary lived in a beach house here. Local Orange County residents still see its attraction. They'll sometimes come here to spend a day on the weekend, relaxing, shopping, and dining at some of the best restaurants in Orange County. It makes for a very relaxing and comfortable weekend day, but it's also good for a quick weekend getaway. Laguna is also home to three summer art festivals that attract art lovers from all over the country. A couple of blocks up from the beach is the Broadway by Amar Santana. It's a newer, high-end restaurant that serves some of the best cocktails and food in Laguna Beach. The decor is post-industrial chic, done with taste and style, and the waitstaff is very friendly. But the biggest draw at this restaurant is the food and the cocktails. I was here earlier this week, and I really loved the place, so I decided to come back and bring my wife. I knew she'd love the food, and particularly the Branzino, which is a whole fish cooked intact. Young loves that kind of thing. They also have a charred octopus appetizer that I knew would drive her crazy. So we're here so she can experience this place, just like I did about a week earlier. Although Young and I will often have wine with a nice dinner out, as I mentioned earlier, their cocktails here are just top-notch, so we decided to get some cocktails this evening. Young got the Coco de Moco, which has coconut, rum, absinthe, lime juice, and cinnamon, a very, very mild tropical mixture. I got the Moscow Mule. I liked it because they make their own ginger beer here for the cocktail, 
and it gives the cocktail a spiciness and a tingle you can't really get anywhere else or with just a normal bottled beer. I had this the last time I was here, so I ordered it again this time. It's really good, and it tickles my nose when I drink it. In addition to the drinks we got, the Broadway also has a menu of outstanding traditional and unusual and creative drinks as well. So if you go there, you might want to try them. inside and it's got a crunchy crust. It's really good. Ooh, wow. It's delicious. Are you going to taste it? Sure. I'm going to cut off a piece for me. Butter is this is a whipped butter. Mm. It's soft. It is salted, but it's whipped and salted. Very good. How is it? You can tell they baked this on like a clay or a brick surface. It's got a really charred flavor on the crust. It's very crispy on the outside. You get a charred smoky flavor. And then inside is very tender, very moist. It's warm. You saw the steam come out. It's delicious. It's a great way to start this meal. I claim that that octopus is charred in a Spanish style. I don't think I've seen Spanish octopus like that. And it looks good. Here, okay. we've got the ravioli. It's got an egg yolk in the center of it. So when you cut it, you see the egg yolk come out like that. This is delicious, I will tell you right now. This has a ricotta cheese in the middle. It's got the egg yolk that bathes the whole thing. It's got a sort of a sweet and sour tangy sauce to go over. And the, the pasta itself is very chewy. It's a really nice homemade ravioli. Ravioli being the singular. Ravioli is the plural. It's delicious. Okay. I think these are the fried onions. I don't know what it is. It's all little... Those are little peppers. Little pepper? Let me taste it. Because I love pepper. Mm, it's not a little pepper, but it's sweet. I don't know what it is. Dip in the sauce. Oh my gosh. It's so good. And look at this, the big chunk of uh, octopus. And there is something on the bottom. I don't know what it is. It's a potato. Oh. Mm -hmm. Let me try that again. It's really good. It's perfect. Wow. Mm. Just perfect. 
so good. Just like the one I had in uh, Spain. So for our main courses, I ordered a stuffed hot sauce. It's stuffed with lobster and truffles, and it looks delicious. Young ordered a branzino, which is a whole fish, and it looks like it's got various kinds of greens and cheese on it. It looks very good. I'm going to taste my lobster. Very yellowish, so I'm guessing there's some saffron in the flavoring. That's really rich. The lobster is very tender. You can taste the truffle. You can taste a little of the saffron. And it's in a buttered cream sauce. It's just delicious. I definitely get this again. This is absolutely worth it. And they kind of push the lobster up, so it, it's it's got a nice smooth, unctuous flavor. It's really good. Okay, I think this is a whole fish. This is all. This is a little mushroom. Those are tiny mushrooms yeah, in really the brantino. Yes. This is a uh, fried broccoli. That's cauliflower. Yeah. Mmm. Wow. So good. So tasty. It's really sweet. It is a surprise. Really, skin is really crispy. Inside is so moist. This is really, really, really good. It's still really hot. One thing we can say is that Amar Santana really knows how to cook a meal. This is called the old beehive. It's got meringue on the outside, it's got honeycomb, it's got uh, goat cheese, and a, 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 that may just be a homemade vanilla ice cream. Uh, it's a really tasty dish, I've had it before. It's very good. And inside the meringue's really fluffy. There's a cookie of some kind down at the bottom. That's a really creamy meringue. It has a citrus flavor at the bottom, like a lemon, gel of some type. It's very honey flavor. Very, very good. That is delicious. The meringue, yeah, mm -hmm. the meringue's really good, and it's got honeycomb too. Is this flower's edible flower? Mm -hmm. Yeah, elder flower. Are you gonna try? Sure. <laughs> The elderflowers are very fragrant. They have a really strong floral flavor too. Very good. Very nice. Nice and serving. Sure.